Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is why a breakup is a challenge. Something very specific happens when you're coupling with a woman. What happens there is that there is a fundamental change or a fundamental shift in the way you position yourself in life. This is you being single. It's one person, you have your family around you, your social circle, your life, your activities, everything. But it's you as a spirit, as a life force, as a life power in full resonance in life. When you couple, something magical happens because you bring another human being in your life that start mirroring and reflecting and being an anchor point for a whole lot of energy in your life. So between those two beings, between this woman and yourself, you are going to start exchanging energy, exchanging love, exchanging sexual power, energy, making plans together. There is a whole lot of relationship happening between those two beings, and this becomes you in a coupling. And so very often what you do in life is that you prepare for coupling, but you don't prepare yourself for the dissolution of that coupling. You prepare yourself for this to be a permanent structure or a permanent source of energy in your life. And so what happens in the breakup is that this source of support, this pillar of strength that is there in your life suddenly is taken away. Suddenly, poof, it just dissolves. That's it, your ex is gone. And then you end up having to go back to yourself, back to your center, back to your power, recenter your energy and recenter absolutely everything that you are. You think about why is a breakup a challenge? It's precisely because of this specific dynamic. You shift from being coupling to being single again. And very often what you will do in the process of breaking up is that you are going to look for another anchor point. You are going to look for another woman to come into your life as soon as possible. You know, very often we call that rebound, rebound relationship. It can be a rebound or it can be something more solid that stays there long term. It can be another woman that comes into your life and will, you know, replace your ex to a certain extent, you know, come up with a new set of values and a new set of dynamics in your relationship. But basically, you call back somebody else to, to play that role into your life. And that's, that can be beautiful. Now, what happens if, you, if it's just you, single for a while? What is going to happen there is that you have to recover the source of energy, the source of beauty and bliss that you can attract into your life, the source of creative power that want to anchor themselves into your existence. And it's back to you. It's back to your responsibility. What happens when you go back home after a day of work and you meet, you meet your wife or your girlfriend, you know, is that there is a natural flow of energy that starts happening. You give each other a hug, maybe you have sex, maybe you connect, you know, she prepared some food or you prepare some food. So there is a natural exchange of energy. There is a life force there that creates a natural flow. So when you end up by yourself, you know, imagine that you're back by yourself in your flat or in a house somewhere or traveling, but it's just you. It's back to being you. And you have to recover the source of power and energy. And if you are very independent, you know, and emotionally stable and strong and powerful, it's not a challenge. You know, you reactivate your social circle, you start reconnecting with the dating world very fast, and that's no problem. But very often what happens when you're coupling is that this other source of energy, uh, these other connections, this social circle, you let it slowly go because you have the resonance with your, your girlfriend or your wife. And so... When you go back to being single, suddenly you realize that you are no longer equipped to being single. You are missing the tools. You are missing the tools to sustain yourself energetically, emotionally, in happiness, to sustain a healthy sex life without your, your ex. You know, you might feel really challenged to go back into the dating world and start connecting with new women into your life. If you have been in this relationship for like 10 years and suddenly your ex disappears, Wow, you go like, oh my God, that's a bit scary. That's challenging. It's out of my comfort zone. I haven't been doing that. I don't even know how to start a conversation with a new woman, with a stranger. I don't even know how to go on dates. And so this is a challenge that you're facing. There's nothing wrong with feeling threatened by this experience. 
And this is why you might feel kind of energetically, emotionally unstable. You might feel sad. You might feel like trapped into these strange emotions that invade you. And you go like, why is this happening? Well, it's happening because the security that you created when you are bonding with another human being, when you're coupling, it creates a field of security. It creates a spirit of your relationship. And all that, that field of love and connection protects you. And so when your ex, you know, steps out, or maybe, you know, you have a cheating episode, for instance, where she goes and, and connects with another man, what happens is that the structure of your, your coupling, the structure of your bonding, suddenly is dissolved. And that can be a massive challenge. You know, some men never recover. And what I want to do in this program is to tell you that it's okay. The dynamics that you're facing are not exceptional. There is a reason why it's happening. And it's because it's an energetic reason. There is an energetic reason for that. And so what you have to learn to navigate is to start taking control of your life back by yourself. And of course, you know, calling back somebody in your field, that's an option. But what if it's just you? How are you going to survive? How are you, how are you going to recover your power and live a happy life by yourself in this transition zone? And maybe you are going to be single for a while. So what does it take for you to be fully happy as a single, empowered person? This is the question you can ask yourself, and these are you know, some of the questions I will answer in coming videos.